Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, wanted to get up here and do a video. It is absolutely gorgeous outside today. Oh my goodness. Um, it's been gorgeous the last few days. Uh, it's been so nice outside. I've actually been wearing shorts. <laughs> right now it's still a little uh, chilly. It's kind of early this morning, so but hopefully by noon I'll be able to slip on some shorts and try to get me some sun. But anyway, um, this weather has been quite a blessing these last uh, few days here because about a little over a week ago, we ended up getting like a little ice storm, I guess you could say, uh, between ice, snow, and uh, sleet. It ended up being like three inches, which when I say snow, it was just a few flurries and that was it. But um, we ended up getting ice and i'm going to insert a picture to show you what it looks like because it does look like we got snow and so we ended up getting that and uh it hung around for about a week i guess you could say it uh it, we ended up losing our electricity but it happened to go off right whenever we went to bed which we went to bed late that night and as soon as i got in there and i put my cpap on and pushed the button the lights started flickering and i looked at my husband and i said well I think it's fixing to happen <laughs> and so about a few seconds later I ended up going out so I went and got all the heavy quilts and and I thought well we'll be okay tonight because we'll be sleeping and the quilts kept us warm and so it ended, it ended up coming back on the next day it was out for about 11 hours so it wasn't too bad so I was glad of that so <laughs> we didn't have to use our other source of heat to try to stay warm but it ended up warming up and it's gone now here so but in other parts of arkansas i've seen where they still got a little bit of ice can you believe that <laughs> it's crazy but yesterday i think it got up to like 80 degrees in some parts of uh, arkansas here i think it got up to like 70 something so anyway i've been taking advantage of it getting out there and messing in my flower beds and and raking and uh, rearranging flower beds and just been out getting out here from like 10 o'clock in the morning till like seven o'clock at night <laughs> hardly going in the house <laughs> but anyway all right i guess i'm going to get up here and show you guys what i have got finished now you guys know i've been on one of those uh blanket kicks with that sunburst and i absolutely love making that it's one of my favorite ones to make and so i ended up finishing the last one i showed you I finished it probably about a week ago but I haven't started on another one but I'm tempted I just don't know I'm, I'm kind of wanting to make a Christmas one but I've been thinking do I want to do it now or do I want to wait till um, Christmas and do it during you know do it like during uh, vlogmas and so I, I might go ahead and do it now that way I can have it ready to put on my I say on my couch but I put that one on my couch that I showed you the last time and my kitty cats were running across it and I'm you know they got claws and so I was so afraid they were going to snag it because I worked hard on that blanket and so I ended up draping it across a chair that it's just for decor it's an old wooden uh child uh, ch a chair from back in the day it was a kid's chair and it had like the wicker bottom but it don't have it so I got like a basket sitting there and I got the blanket across the back of it so but actually I switched it out now and I've got my other one that I'm going to be using for spring. So I finally got it finished and I'm super excited about it. And it is a it is a pattern by Jada and Stitches. She does have a video tutorial on it. And she does uh, have a where well, you can download a PDF uh, download too if you'd like to have that instead. So I'm going to get it out here. I really do. I love this so much. It's so pretty. And I used up a lot of my scraps. Now a lot of this that's in here. Some of it was discontinued yarn, and some of it, I, you know, was just balls of scraps that I have. So, you know, and I bought some of this yarn a couple of years ago, and I thought I'll never use it probably for anything else. I might as well put it in a blanket, and it was on clearance. So, but anyway, I'm going to stand up and show you how it turned out. So it turned out beautiful. <laughs> See if I can do this without tripping over a rock. We got a lot of rocks here. <laughs> but anyway here is how it turned out oh i think it's so pretty i love it these colors i wanted to try to use colors that remind me of spring and uh, so i think it did pretty good but it's so so pretty 
and I love the way I put I, I love how this makes it pop because I put that there and here and then I I was kind of scared to add the last one because I didn't think I had enough because I didn't really want to go buy another skein of it but I ended up having enough to put around the whole you know the outside of it and then I added the white and so but I think it turned out really pretty and that color that I just showed you that I was afraid I was going to run out and get my chair fixed here, I'm crooked, is, uh, uh, it's that one from Walmart. It's the mainstay, the anti-peel. It's, uh, pink is what they call it. So, but anyway, as far as being able to tell you the other colors, oh my goodness, <laughs> be kind of hard because I really don't know. Some of it's the mainstay white. Like I said, a lot of it is from Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And this one is Red Heart Super Safe, the light blue. And this one is a, I think that's Red Heart Super Saver uh, Lemon, I believe, which is a pretty uh, yellow. But anyway, I think it turned out so pretty. And I love this. And I and I did it right. I got my 12 points. So on the first one, I messed up. And I, like I said I, before, I'm, I know where I messed up. So <laughs> I didn't start off with an, enough uh, double crochet. There's like 12, if I remember right, you start off with. Well, I didn't add the uh, 12th one. Why? I don't know. So it shows you need to go back and count before you keep going. <laughs> and I wasn't going to rip it out because I had done a lot of work on that. And I wasn't feeling so good at the time either, I think. I remember right but anyway I'll put all I'll put links down below in the description box of everything I talk about actually I'm probably going to pause you for a second and go throw it in the house because I don't have enough room over here so I'll be right back okay I'm back I actually uh, forgot to forgot my book a while ago <laughs> but anyway um get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing Okay, and I feel like I'm way far back. Let me scoot up just a hair. That's better. Okay, now the next thing I want to share with you guys is probably the baby blanket. Now, I got the, the next row on. I think I like two more rows and I'll be done with it. And so, get the kitty hair off of it. They always like snuggling with me while I'm working on things. But anyway... Um, I got it upside down. This is a pattern by Maria's Blue Crayon, and it is free on her blog. But she also has a PDF uh, download you can purchase if you'd like to have that instead. But anyway, the last row here, well, the next row, I ended up putting the seashell on it. And then, uh, this is a color from, or the yarn that I used is from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know the colorway, but I thought it would make a pretty little seashell. And it's at uh, Just Premier or something like that from the Dollar Tree. So I used that to make the shell. And then I made the clownfish. I think it turned out so cute. <laughs> a lot of ends to sew in, though. My goodness, at first I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make that or not because there were a lot of ends. But I ended up doing it, and it didn't show through on the back. So... But it would have been a lot easier if I could have just tied it onto the back. <laughs> but anyway, I got that one done. And that's just mainstay orange and white and black. And then I just do little French knots for their eyes. I don't do the safety eyes. And then I added the little jellyfish. And that is some yarn from, I believe that is uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Is it lilac or something like that? But that's what I use for the jellyfish. And I just think this blanket is turning out so cute. See if I can get it up here. That's what it's looking like so far. And I love making these granny squares. They're easy. Real fun. And and actually, I'll, sh I'll show you. I don't know if you notice or not. I don't know where I went wrong. But when I first started making it, I started off making the granny squares like this. Now, this might be another one of her granny squares that she has. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But <laughs> I started making them like this. And then when I went to her pattern, was looking at something, I got to notice, and I thought, wow, these granny squares are different. Now, I did the second row that way, but the third one is different. And so what I'm doing, I did the first two rows with the granny squares like that. And then the next two rows, 
and then I'm doing the next two rows where they look like this. Now, I don't know. I don't even know if it was Maria's or if it's just one I just did in my head. I can't remember. <laughs> I just went back and looked at it and I thought, oh, I, I can do that. But I really don't remember. It's just a granny square. So I probably just thought up, you know, just did it on my own in my head. So I don't know. But I didn't notice it until after I got that other row done. And I thought, oh, I kind of messed up. But that's okay. So... And as I'm making the squares, I'm trying to, you know, I'm looking for the little amigurumis to kind of go along with it because I've made some baskets. And it's the uh, basket tutorial that Pamela has. And so I made two of them, and I'm going to, one of them is getting full now. And the ones that I'm fixing to show you are going to go in the new one. Unless I've got enough room in that other one. I haven't tried it yet. So I ended up making three of them. And I'm trying to match them up to the blanket with whatever I'm, you know, making for the uh, applique. And the, the amigurumis that I'm doing are out of this book right here. Now, I will put a link down below where you can go and if you'd like to purchase this book. This is by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding, and I absolutely love this book. Me and a bunch of others did a review on it. And uh, I ended up doing a review on this one right here. But I do. I love this. I love that it's, you know, you can open it up and do it like that instead of you know how the others where they're kind of hard to keep open and stuff and uh, I just I do I love the pictures in here are so they're so cute <laughs> the patterns in here I love each and every one of them and so I do I I highly recommend the book and uh, but anyway let me show you what I ended up making here's the uh, con table of contents Shows you what's in the book. Here we are. So, I ended up making the clownfish. He was a lot of fun to make, too. I'm getting straightened up here. Here he is. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> and he's so bright. I love that. Oh, I love that. It makes me want to get a fish tank. I used to have one. I've had a few. I'd love to have another one, but I don't know if my cats would leave it alone. I've been tempted. I'd love to have one of those ones that we've got a store in a town next door to us that has, it's a pet store and a couple of them, but we, this one's been there forever and uh, used to go in there a long time ago and, and they're still there and they'd have these tanks in there, fish tanks all down the walls and in the middle they had the tanks that you could buy and they had the ones that were real tall and round and I've always wanted one that was like real tall and you know big and round but I just don't know if my cats wouldn't leave it alone <laughs> I guess if you put a top on it which you know mine always had a top but the back's always kind of open with a filter but I don't know if they make things different now or not because I haven't looked at any in a long long time so but anyway, I just think this is the cutest thing. Now, I, I I forgot to mention what hook size I used on my blankets. My sunburst, I use a 5 millimeter. My This one here, I used a 5.5. And, and my Amis, I ended up using a 4. Because I go back and forth. I guess it just depends on how tight my tension is at the time. But this one, I used a 4. And a lot of times, I'll drop down to a 3.2. But I just think he's the cutest thing. <laughs> Anyway, so sweet and super easy. Easy, easy. And then the next one I ended up making, I'll just show you here, is a little clam. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Or she? <laughs> so cute. Now, I ended up using a red, no, mainstay pink and mainstay white. And he's got his little safety eyes in there. And then on this one, uh, she shows you how you can just sew it in to the shell so you won't lose the little thing on the inside, the little clam. Or whatever. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So I made that one. Since uh, she didn't have, I guess you can consider this like a shell. I don't know. I, I just made a clam instead of a shell. <laughs> and then I ended up making the little jellyfish. Now I've already made one. And it was in the Christmas colors. But I wanted to do one in the blue. And this was just a scrap ball. But isn't he sweet? I just think he's so cute. <laughs> these were so much fun and like I said you can go and get this book I'll put a link down below where you can find it if you'd uh, like to get you one so I do I love this book so much I'm gonna set it right there 
Okay, now the next thing I'm going to show you, let me get my notes here. Lay this other, got some happy mail I want to share with you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, this next thing I'm going to show you is by the left-handed crocheter. And I believe whenever I got this, she was offering where you can go and pick a pattern out for free. And so I got this one for free. And it's called the Mini Monsters, or the Mini Monster. But with it, you can change it, the hats on it, to different characters. And there's like a superheroes, bear, unicorn, frog, and an owl. Well, I ended up making, let's see, get him out here, the shark. <laughs> oh, whenever I seen that, I thought, I've got to make this. You guys know I have grands, and so I thought this would be so cute. <laughs> so I ended up making the the uh, the body, and um, I made the shark. I haven't made any of the other uh, hats yet. This one right here, I know it'll be a winner. So, <laughs> but isn't it sweet? Now I ended up using um, mainstay orange, scrap ball of some gray I had, mainstay white, safety eyes, and then I just went back. I took some yarn and took it apart, used two strands of it, and just did his little mouth there. But you can just take this right off. There you are. And then make you a different hat to put on it. I'm, I'd like to make the frog next. <laughs> and uh, so cute. And it was really easy. I think I, if I remember right, I used a very small hook and it still turned out very big. I used a 3.2. But anyway, so cute. I think I used 15, is that 15 millimeter eyes there? I don't know. It's been a little while since I made this one. I actually had it done for a while and I kept forgetting to show you guys. <laughs> I think I had it made before I got sick. But he's so cute. But I'll put a link down below where you can go check out the pattern if you'd like to have one. And if you, if you have Facebook and you follow her on Facebook, she will... She has some awesome sales on her amigurumis. A lot of times she'll put them at 40. Sometimes she'll put them up. Uh, I've seen her go as high as 70% off. But around Christmas time, she always offers where you can have uh, go pick one out for free. So you can't beat that. That's so nice of her. But anyway, I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. And now the next one is the, um, what's it called? Uh, flip through towel. <laughs> And it's by Sarah Sash, and she did, I forgot to mention last time that she uh, has a um, video on it, and she does have uh, where you can go and get it for free on her website, if I didn't uh, mention that last time. I think I forgot. <laughs> but anyway, I ended up making three more, and I've actually uh, got some more yarn that's supposed to be coming where I'm going to be making some more of them. They just, it, I'm supposed to be getting it today. It's been almost two weeks. I think, or maybe a week, I've lost track of time since I ordered it, and so I didn't have the colors, I was trying to bust through all my cotton, and then just trying to get colors that I know I'm going to use, well, ends up, uh, the ones that, the colors that I need, I didn't have, so I turned around and ordered me a little bit of uh, cotton yarn to make me some hand towels for my bathrooms, now I ended up making three more, and one of them has already went uh, to my kiddo because I made her one and she absolutely loves them and uh, so I ended up making me two of them and I'll insert a picture she's already got hers so I'll insert a picture right here of what hers looks like I did it in scraps that I had and I really love it so I want to make me a scrappy one too it's pretty I ended up doing this in Hobby Lobby I love this uh, cotton and what size of hook was that was it a five i think it was a five i remember right and i just love this it's the v-stitch and i did mine in solid red and so because i do love red in my kitchen i love it a lot so i made one like this and get back over here i end up making this one in the colorway curry Another kitty hair, uh, kitty cat hair, <laughs> uh, curry, and then I had a scrap ball. I don't know what color that is. I can't remember, but it was just a real light blue and went around the edge of it because I tried to make a couple of them that looks like that old Pioneer Woman stuff and hang it in there. So I made me two more for my kitchen, and I do love this stitch. It was really easy to make, quick to work up, and I love her patterns. I do. I absolutely love Sarah's patterns. They're so easy, and they're fun, and she's still got uh, tons of my, I, uh, 
I'd like to make and I just I got so much I'm like everybody else you got everything um, you store all this stuff in your library on your computer on your phone and you you know I need to do that uh, stitch your library that everybody several people are doing and I need to get on that and, and maybe join in with them and do it that'd be kind of fun I might do that I think let's all right so I'll put links down below where you guys can go check it out okay now I got some happy mail oh my goodness uh, it put the biggest smile on my face my friend Cheryl sent me this I was um, going to check the mail one day and I when I got to the mailbox I got I had a card in there and so I seen who it was from and she sent me the cutest Valentine's card it's a Valentine's Day is that special time when thoughts of those we care about come to mind. Isn't that a pretty card? Oh, I love this. And so on the inside, let's see here. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. Blessings, my friend. Much love, Cheryl. Heart of Crochet by Cheryl. Cheryl, I take it that you used to have a YouTube channel. I'd love to know. I guess I need to ask you. <laughs> but, um. Uh, Anyway, she sent me something. She wrote me a little note here, and um, it's, uh, let me show you what it is, and then, oh, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and it's so funny, because I had just mentioned to my husband about a week before I got this that I was wanting to order me something. She made me a heart, and look what she's got on there. These are mood stitch markers <laughs> you guys remember the mood rings oh my goodness that's what she said in the note the like the mood rings back in the 70s i could not believe this I, whenever i opened that envelope and seen this cheryl you put the biggest smile on my face i giggled all the way back to the house <laughs> i played with these things i i do i love things that are like with the mood you know where they change colors like that and stuff i absolutely love that and so i have used one but i wanted to put it back on here to show you i just love this and this is where they're going to stay and they stay on my cart with my little uh, she got me a, a little wooden one that has it looks like a ball of yarn and it's made out of cherry wood and i love that stitch marker and i use it all the time but I just love these. And so, Cheryl, thank you. That was so sweet of you. I absolutely love these. But I told my hubby, I said, maybe I need to go ahead and order that mood ring. I, you guys remember those from back in the 70s? I was telling her that I remember whenever I had one as a kid, my friends had one too. And um, I think when you got one, it always come with a little piece of paper that told you what each color meant as the mood. <laughs> but we used to, it was so fun because we would, you know it be in class or if we you know when the bell would ring and we'd see each other in the hall what colors you ring <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun so this brought back a lot of memories and i thank you so much for that cheryl that was so sweet of you and thank you for the card you got a little cute heart on the back of it too <laughs> oh my goodness put a smile on my face for sure and it still does <laughs> but anyway i guess that's all i got to show you guys i i haven't really I haven't really been doing that much i'll tell you the truth after i've been working outside and going in the house and uh taking a shower and having supper and by the time we sit down because we've been staying out late i've been eating late which i shouldn't be doing that um <laughs> i uh i'm tired and i'm ready to go to bed <laughs> so i haven't really been doing much but i do have some things picked out that i'm wanting to make for the playroom and i'm excited about that and i'm wanting to make something for my uh, bedroom so and some other little something so i'm going to get started on that along with um, trying to finish out this baby blanket here and do that and who knows i might start another one of those sunburst blankets i really 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 want to do a christmas one so i'm still debating um i'd like to do one for like uh summer you know the summer colors do a fall one do one for each season and then bust through my scraps again and do another scrappy one so because i do love working on it it's it's really a lot of fun but anyway i guess i better get off here before i go i want to say thank you guys for all your prayers and your well wishes and everything i do feel tons and tons better but i still have just a tiny bit of a cough but you know 
not like I was. So I feel so much better. So anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting to you guys real soon. <laughs>